Hi there, this is a new add-on for the new year called Zigzag Extrude. Uh, what it will do is um, quickly create you jagged extrusions. So you can use this sort of thing for creating pipe effects. So it has sort of bend options uh, and or it can create all sorts of objects you see here. First to install in Blender 2.8, you go to Edit, Preferences, and under the Add-ons section, click Install, and then navigate to find the zip file uh, that you've downloaded ended in 2.8. You don't need to unzip the zip file or anything like that. Uh, and it should appear in the list. And if you check the checkbox, it'll enable the add on. You can also change the keyboard shortcut, which is at the moment Alt Z. So you may want to change that. And you should be ready to go in Blender 2.8. In Blender 2.79, you go to File and User Preferences and then install add-on from file and then navigate to the zip file ending in 2.79 and click install add-on from file and again it should appear as an entry if you expand the option and check the checkbox you'll also see the same options for keyboard shortcuts so there are versions for Blender 2.8 and 2.79 and again, away you go. So I'll show you now uh, in slower time how to use the add-on. Um, so just to show you the manual way you do this without the add-on, um, I couldn't really find any other way of doing it other than very slowly and clumsily creating the extru extrusions to create the jagged effect. Um, so this was really time consuming when I wanted to quickly do things like piping or um, some more abstract effects. Uh, it would take quite a long time to accomplish otherwise. So uh, with that in mind uh, I uh, created the add-on as an operator and you use it much like the extrusion operation uh, here. So if I just select a face to show you as an example, you can quickly create that jagged effect. And there are a fair few parameters that I can show you here now, um, where you can change things like the number of steps uh, in, the, in the zigzag effect. Uh, you can um, also add things like bevels to the sides and to the uh, insides of the zigzags. You can also taper it, as I've shown you here. So you can start creating things like um, pyramid step effects or steps, uh, step type effects. You can also change how far the inside of the zigzag goes in and out. Um, so you can show that here if I just change some of the options here. And all these are documented. Uh, in Blender Markets documentation and uh, you can see here you can also change the thickness of each of the zigzags so the outer ones are smaller than the others here I've also got some randomized options as well if you wanted an uneven effect for any reason uh, those are all options there as well there are a few more options as, um, towards the end as well. So this is quite novel as well. You can do uh, rotation effects as well if you wanted to quickly um, do sort of a bendable effect. So you could create some bendable piping or other sort of you know bendable effects. So you kind of rotate the top and it slowly um, interpolates that so that um, uh, you can create these sort of smooth bending effects. It's kind of like proportional editing as well, which um, you can't. You can also do as well if you want to do that. Uh, but I've built it into the add-on for you. <clears throat> and here I'm showing the bevel effect. So you can bevel the corners of uh, the extrusion. You can also bevel the um, the insides and outsides of the zigzag effect. So you can create sort of a smoother zigzag effect as well. So, it's, so if you wanted sort of a smoother ribbed type effect as well, you can do that. You can also change the number of steps. So you've just got that smoother bevel. And it also has weight options if you just wanted to change the weights on the edges and use 
the weight option in the bevel modifier. I've added some additional options that allow you to create some interesting effects. If you select all the faces on this cube and select zigzag extrude, just click the mouse button once because nothing much will happen, but you have some additional options, extrude individual faces and also use uh, the shrink fatten effect other than the traditional extrusion effect. You can get thing, effects like this where all the individual faces can be extruded out. You can apply taper to the additional faces as before. You can even play around with things like the rotation. And to me, this just creates quite interesting effects. I'm so sure you can get lots of more. Um, you can add them to things like spheres and uh, quickly create these sorts of um, strange uh, sort of piping type parts again. So. Um, another thing I wanted to show you is that this also works on multiple faces uh, just in case you were wondering so if I subdivide this cube and select a sub selection of the faces together uh, and you didn't want to extrude them individually the default uh, it will just extrude out like that so again you can quickly get um, effects that would have taken you a lot longer otherwise and that's about it um, so if you have any feedback on the add-on um, uh, do get in touch with me through Blender Market. Um, it's available in, as a link in the comments right now. Um, uh, so I hope uh, you find the add-on very useful.